If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that my name's Nerdy and I like storytelling. I'm a bit obsessed with it. And so it should come as no surprise that when it comes to video games, I love the best in the business, Telltale. Telltale have been telling choose your own adventure stories in the worlds of The Walking Dead, where they ripped my heart out, and The Wolf Among Us, the fables where I was devoured. And they've even let me make my own choices as Batman and have an impact on the streets of Gotham. Now we get to have an impact once more in a world that I absolutely love, that I'm absolutely obsessed with, The Expanse. In a prequel story following Kamina Drummer as played yet again by the returning Kara G. In and out, no games. We are getting a story about a ship called the Artemis and the political intrigue between Earth and Mars and the belt that she calls home. I am so excited they reached out to sponsor a video because I am so happy to talk about The Expanse and I am so excited to have had my hands on this game and get to tell you that they've done it yet again and that The Expanse to Telltale series is great. I highly recommend you pick it up. It comes out probably before this ad drops, so it's probably out right now. You can probably go do this at this moment. You can go to PlayStation, you can go to Xbox, you can go to the Epic Game Store on PC. There's three amazing locations. You can go pick this up and join me in joining Drummer in space, which is a nightmare. And as I will, I've said it before, I'll say it again, Nerdy doesn't do space, but I do in Telltale's The Expanse. Thank you so much for sponsoring this Telltale. I will happily shout from the rooftops, you've made another great game. And I cannot wait for two weeks from now when we get episode two, and then two weeks after that when we get episode three, and two weeks after that when we get episode four. It's gonna be a good time. Ooh, what's up, internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Claro. And this is Ghost in the Shell. A movie that we're supposed to watch. <laughs> patron pick of the month for July. Uh, the patron pick of the month for July was gonna be something else, but then we went on strike, and so it had to be something that was not produced by the AMPTP. Yeah, fuck the those guys. American movie producers and terrible people. Uh, Pretty much, yeah. Hey, if you At pay us point, a living wage, I'll change my tune, AMPTP. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is going to be Ghost of the Shell from 1995 or 96. I get different numbers depending on where I go, but I'm pretty sure I have the right movie. Yeah. Because it's the first one. Um, just a heads up, I have seen the live action. Clarus has not. Mm-hmm. I think I might know a twist that happens in this movie, but I was also so... Okay, when, when the live action came out and Scarlett Johansson was playing the lead character and people were upset that about it, uh-huh. my friends and I got so high oh. and we went and saw it thinking gotcha. that it would be like a dumb bad movie. Mm-hmm. And I was so legally, I want to be very inebriated. clear, legally inebriated. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't remember anything about this film. I love it. Uh, except Can't Scarlett wait. Johansson running uh in the nude that that one stuck with me but she's not really naked she like because oh. her body's plastic or something i don't oh. i don't i don't know but i have seen it some things might trigger i don't know just want we, i just want to be upfront about that but yeah. i have no idea what's supposed to happen no that's fair i have uh, no concept of what this is supposed to be so i'm uh, just here for the ride yeah i in in looking this up i didn't realize there were like 90 things there's like seven different TV shows. There's like 15 mangas. There's like nine movies. Like this, there is a billion Ghost in the Shell properties. Okay, well. So I'm excited to see to what this is. Uh, if you want the flag through action, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. They chose this for us. So if you want to choose next month's movie, which might also be an anime movie because, you know, we can only watch certain things. Or a foreign movie. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, go over to Patreon. Bye. But not bye because we're about to watch the video. Wow, this animation reminds me of Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars. <laughs> I love that 90s look. Mm-hmm. Do robots have periods? Yeah, this is what I remember. I love that the only thing I remember is the beginning. <laughs> yeah. I feel for this guy. I know what it's like to be in a van that you have to stand in, but you don't fit in. Yeah. Yeah. Why is she naked, though? It's a tactic, probably. (laughs) 
That was fun. Wangakuniwa Hewa Shugi no Minshu Kokka. Madara Soto. What? Oh, she can go invisible. That's why she's naked. Right. Actually, that makes total sense. But wouldn't they sell their thigh strap? I guess not. Well, I... Oh, I guess her gun strap goes invisible, too. I have no idea what's going on. Politics plus assassination. Mm -hmm. We have now concluded everything I know about this movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> The Matrix. But this is three years before The Matrix. Oh, right. That's interesting. Not really. I mean, green screens with numbers on them was kind of just how computers worked, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not like it's an uncommon image. I do like that every time we make robot ladies, they always have titties. Yeah. Nobody ever makes, like, a breasticle robot. <laughs> yeah gonna have boobs they gotta be like honkers they're never like itty bitties you know did you ever see snow White and the huntsman mm, some of it that just reminded me of the visceral memory i have of seeing Charlize theron come out of the like vat of milk in that yeah, movie yeah. and being like yeah yeah that was unfair yeah and then they're like kristen stewart is the fairest of them all and i was like Charlize theron just came ah! nude out of a bath of milk mirror you f look kristen stewart Gorgeous, incredible actress. Mm -hmm. If you've never seen, is it Camp X? Watch it. Amazing movie. What? Oh, she has nipples. Interesting. I, in the live action, they like made it like nippleless. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. You can get away with a lower rating. I don't know how much of this is going to go in the YouTube version. Might be censored. Brandon, you want to put like little like. Blur. Yeah. Blurs over the nips. It's a lot of nip. Yeah. A lot, lot of nip. Yeah, we're getting a lot of boobage today. That is an incredible shot. Yeah. I love old animation techniques. Like, as, as much as I enjoy modern animation, mm -hmm. CGI is just less impressive to look at. Yeah, I get that. You know? Mm -hmm. It's not hard, It's not any less difficult to make. And I know that. I know how hard CGI artists work. But there's something about, like, drawn animation like that. Like, drawing the shadow, like, incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Should I go with that facial hair choice? No. Just the... No. Gaimu Daijin no tsuyaku da. 23 fun hodo mai denwa kaisen o keiyu shite denno ni hacking sareta. What? Tuji no keikoku dori. Ninyo otsukai ga netto no kakutan matsu ni... We hacked her through a phone line? Oh no, I'm getting rid of my iPhone. Mata tsuiseki shitoru. Goryu shiro. That's a prequel jacket. It is. I want that job in the movie. What? Just lie on a table, get some acupuncture in the face, you know? Sponsor de Armares no Utanai Yosoros Tomini was a Kyushi Kyotskawasetta. Arriva Varevarini Soma was a Tai Betino sponsor. If they made this movie in the 80s, that would be Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. So, are we in like a cyberpunk world where a lot of people have cybernetics? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I, I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Forty seconds behind schedule. That in Japan is very late. 
You hack your wife? Oh my god. There is so much exposition in this movie so far, and I still don't really understand it. Yeah. There's a lot happening. Mm hmm. Because why would they suspect the garbage man? Cool. That was sick. What a shot. This does give Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. With less neon. Yeah. <laughs> It's a lot of firepower for a guy who's just trying to like steal a little bit for his daughter. Yeah. I think they want the guy who like made this thing. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. That is so well done. That's crazy. I guess in a world where you would have, like, infrared and all sorts of other things, optical camouflage would need to be, a, a, you would have to be descriptive about that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, just say camouflage, but, like, there could be other kinds of camouflage in this world for other kinds of, like, visual readings. Right. I just love how populated all of the shots are. Mm-hmm. He reminds me of Scar. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was actually Scar's uh, day job before Ishval Gotcha, fell. before yeah. he did Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah. This is actually Ishfal, um, before mm, the war. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> what a cool effect. Yeah. I wonder how they did that. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> Oh, I thought he got him. What gun does this dude have? I don't know, but it's the future, so. Right? That shit's crazy. These guns are destroying, like, wood, concrete, cement, but not clothing. <laughs> Bulletproof vests have got real good. Yeah, yeah. The bulletproof, also invisible rain slicker. God, the reflection. Like, that is so incredibly gorgeous. Yeah. But, and it's, like, dirty. Like, the world is so dirty, mm -hmm. but the, the animation of it is so well done that it's beautiful. Yeah. I half expected him to shoot that plane out of the sky with his submachine gun. Why not? Considering what else it's been capable of so far. I want to know what the ghost is. I think it's your soul, right? This guy's just fucking on edge. Shooting everything. So <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I would love somebody watching out their window just being like, what, what is, is this, this guy, guy doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Ghost no nai ningyo wa kanashii mon da ze. 
特に赤い血の流れてるやつはな。What? He is a body that has been hacked. And so he doesn't know why he's acting the way he is, I'm assuming, because. The phones told him to. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, if we started to have chips in us, you could use somebody's cell phone to get into that chip, and then. Interesting. Oh, it's a vampire. <laughs> is this the Curse of Strahd? He's 28. Dudes lived a hard life. <laughs> Went gray real fast. When he has no hair on top of his head. Alright, I'm good. You can kill me now. If this is what 2030 looks like, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. So, what do you still know? Who took that photo? I don't know. It was terrible. They can't undo it? I don't know. They can't undo it? 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 No, this is worse. At least there you can go out in a blaze of glory. Here someone just steals your personality from you and gives you memories, and then once you know those memories are fake, you still remember them as if they're real. Oh, hey, we're on the romance mission. What? There's a cyberpunk mission where you go scuba diving. Oh. At least she has clothes on in this scene. <laughs> Even the little details, like how the the lighting of the scene is warping through the water on her mask. Yeah, yeah. it's so cool. Like, I get why people wanted us to watch this. Mm -hmm. Oh, does he have a crush? I think he's got cybernetic eyes. Yeah. Thought they were like weird glasses at first. No, because he saw the guy move in the blue. Yeah. yeah. Does she need a scuba suit? It makes if she's it, a cyborg? Yeah, it makes it sound like she will, like, drown. Like, they can't swim. They're probably, like, heavy. Good point. They have no air in them. That makes sense, actually. And no water. Unless they're water-cooled. Yeah, I actually never thought about that. Robots would have a really hard time swimming. Mm -hmm. Huh. その気になれば体内に埋め込んだ化学プラントで血液中のアルコールを数十秒で分解して白布に戻れる。あ、どうもなびジャンクにもある。あの制御、近くのエビンか、運動能力や反射の飛躍的な効果。Do they have a stowaway? Is that her ghost? Maybe. Who's is she this the fucking shell? Time? Is she the shell and like her soul is like the ghost in the shell? I think that's true of just everyone, right? The pacing of scenes like this feels very 90s to me. Like, Absolutely. this would not exist in yeah. a modern... And if it did, it would be earlier in the movie. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see in, like, you know, 10, 20, 30 years, like, what stylistic choices like that come back and, mm -hmm. like, enter and exit in, like, fashion for filmmaking. Yeah, because this isn't bad. It's just not contemporary. Mm-hmm. The end. Thank you for watching Ghost in the Shell. The girl we saw lying down on the table. Her brain got hacked from her. Yes, yeah. Oh, and she...
刻してきたお前のために親切な俺が説明してやるとだな。And to the audience. <笑>メガテクボディ社ってのは政府御用達のメーカーで、そこで作ってる機体はすべて機密なんだって。They just started building a body on its own? That's freaky. I know you know that 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 そそれを実行するのも同じ人間だ疑いい出せばキリがないか Why do you all let these people in your brains though? Yeah. This is truly a like nightmare scenario. Yeah, yeah. So she thinks that there might be a soul inside of that fake body? Yes. No, 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 I guess somebody does use Caucasian in a sentence like that. <laughs> I've never seen that tall Caucasian before. Oh, we're getting fucking deep. Okay. True, we've never seen our own brain. This is too deep. That's not true. People see their own brains. Like, cut the top off and then you can, like, see it in a mirror. Um, yeah, oh, God. It's a little heady. Yeah. And not in, like, a bad way. It's just, like, I was, like, not expecting this. I remember the live action movie being much more action heavy than this. I'm not surprised. Yeah. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. He's trying to see if there's a body in them, I think. Yeah, he was checking weight of how heavy the person was. Oh shit, let's go! Okay. We gotta catch an invisible criminal, this is fun! I have no fucking idea what's going on, but I'm having fun. Yeah. I kind of hate it. Yeah, not a fan. Most of the people who are in the world are in the world. They 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 are in the world. こいつは電脳犯罪史上最もユニークと評されたハッカー、人形使いだ。Oh, shit. 人形使いを擬態の電脳にダイブさせ、その間に本体を暗殺した。そんな。Wow. 死体が出ない。なぜなら。Oh, shit. 一生命体として政治的亡命を希望する。生命体だとバカな。はあ。不死、人工知能か。A. I. ではない。私のコードは。プロジェクト二五。two five o one。the fuck。部長、人形使いか。え、どうなってるの。ほんの。<笑> what。Love the DeLorean doors. Let's go. <laughs> you are not cybernetic. Get out of the way. <laughs> Tracking bullet? Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, okay. Well, that was a little weird. If you're making a body that's just to catch him, why is that body so hot? <laughs> like, were they planning on fucking. Why not be hot? You know? Okay. 
Yo, she kept. Let's go, Major. All right. Come on, Bobby. Let's go party. So, to Gaim Shoa Kayo Shita, Kikak Saksen Nandemi, Project on Ego, Zeruich to Evaramono, Kesak Shu. Well, he's like, that's a lot. Okay, wait, give me a sec. I need to write all that down. Let me, yeah, let me write it down. Moshika Shita, Katao Mui no Aite de Mitano Kamoshire, Nani Ubaka. Is he in love with the Major? Say, That's why he's in a body that looks like hers. Yeah, I didn't really think that they like looked alike, and then she was like, "We look alike," and I was like, "Sure." Kind of see it in the chin and the boobs. She's like, "We're boob twins." I really didn't think we'd be talking about talking about titties as much. Yeah. When we started either. this movie, but it is like thirty percent of the film so far. So, approximately, yeah. Pretty sure those two were twins. I think all three of the women in that room are. All three of them are twins? You think you're so funny. You are laughing so <laughs> hard at that joke right now. Yeah. That's embarrassing for you. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, like, great. I'm like embarrassed for you. I'm not the one who called them twins. Now we shall watch in real time as they chase them across the city. No cuts, no edits. Here is a 10 minute sequence of a helicopter flying up into the air. Yeah, why not? Jimmy Neutron? All grown up. Oh, they made him, and now they're after him. Mm -hmm. Never get detected. Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> Code two five oh one. Yeah, I think all five of them are the same person. Oh. Or they're all, they just found five brunette ladies with the same body type and told them they had to have the same haircut. Yeah. Actually, no, it just it makes sense that those bodies were built, I guess. Mm -hmm. Considering this world. They're cybernetic. <laughs> Is that a Tesla? I don't know. There's like a T on the right. Yeah, there's a T on the right. Oh my god, okay. Whoa, shit! They fucked them up so fast! It's the sound effects that get me. Like, oh my god. That. Yeah. Stop that. They didn't have to do this much. This guy is always dressed like he's in like Miami Vice. It's pouring rain and his jacket's like immaculate. Well, just like the white t-shirt with like the blazer. He just looks like he's about to like solve crimes in like Southern Florida. What's um like burn notice? Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That vibe. Nice not to have to worry about anything. What the fuck? Is it an invisible tank? Cool. Them being able to talk in their heads, their mouths not moving, makes some of these scenes like visually weird to look at. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Kill Especially guy. the ones that are alone, I would just have them their lips move. Yeah, maybe from an animation perspective, it saves some time, but I'm sure it does. But it has thrown me off a couple of times where I'm like, are they just thinking? No, no, this is a conversation. Well, and the subtitles are a little bit off. They are. They're not timed perfectly. No, they're really not. So some of it will like flash by really quick and I'm like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Come 
Kongro. You can fight a tank 1v1. Oh, yeah. 1v1 me, bro. Girls, fuck. You're not, yeah, yeah, it doesn't even look like you've really heard it yet. Like, we need a better plan here, girl. That was a great shot. That was really cool. That was... <laughs> you can do that in the IFF. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they in a dinosaur museum? Yes! I love unnecessary acrobatics. <laughs> Oh, it's the gate from Fullmetal Alchemist. <laughs> I love that every fight is just, all right, time for me to get naked. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's my one move. Nice. Okay, here we go. Oh, she fuck. got so jacked. She just shredded all of a sudden. <gasps> oh, God! What did that accomplish? I don't remember fucking any of this from the movie. You don't remember Scarlett Johansson getting yoked before our very eyes? I'm going in. Alright, that was crazy. Yeah. See, it's the gate from Fumel. If they go through there, they'll find out that there is no way to get their real body back. I do like that she's naked all the time, but Batu is always covering her up. Yeah. It's a gentleman right there. Everybody needs a Batu in their life. What a fuck. I want you to make me a body that can impregnate all the ladies. I don't think those are the kind of memes he's talking about. No, no, it's definitely memes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it. Yeah, so memes are forever. Right? 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 The memes, no! The memes will not remain. Shito wa taezu henka suru mono da shi. Kimi ga ima no kimi jishin de aro to suru shuuchaku wa kimi o seiyaku hitsu. This movie is fucking deep. Yeah. Seiyaku o ste, sara naru joubu kouzou ni shifto suru toki da. I feel like I need a PhD to understand what the fuck's going on in this movie. I know. Like, I get it enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, the idea of, like, the, like, not, like, AI, but, like, kind of AI. Like, it's just... This is not at all what the plot of the live action movie is. Yeah, I can't imagine that it would be. Like, I. Or at the very least, if it is, I don't remember fucking any of it beyond the opening scene. 
I don't even remember Batu. So like I don't know. She a child now? Okay. It was what they had. Who's the only <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I uh, hope it's not your taste. Jesus Christ. Interior no shimmy are easy, Tiny. Coco Bato no safe house. Jimino, Coco Nixta Ninga, oh my husband. The implications of like a child body being the easiest thing to find on the black market is. I didn't even think of it that way. That's, yeah, mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. What a cool way to show her perspective being different from a normal person's. Cool. That was so not what I expected. Uh, yeah, no, uh, definitely not what I expected at all. Um. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> wow. The movie's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. You know how everybody's going all AI on everything? Fucking don't. I'm yeah. I'm I'm calling it now, no AI. Yeah, let's not. Let's yeah, just, let's just let's not. Just don't say we did, you know? You know what? Robots are bad. Let's I let's go back to paper and pen. Uh I think mm -hmm. social media, nah. The plague. No Truly. thanks. Mm -hmm. Nuh uh. It's really interesting that that was made in the nineties. Why? Well, that was when these kind of like when these kinds of questions really started mm -hmm. to be asked. Yeah. And they they just they went like balls to the wall with it. You know what I mean? Like they made a thing and they were like, let's not touch on like the surface level of questions about AI and cybernetics. We're 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 gonna go hard and we're gonna go deep and it's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, what does it mean to be a person? Yeah. Because that's what the movie is, right? Like what 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 is it what is existence? Yeah. And I think that like in terms of what I wanted to get out of this going into it, I did not get that. I will agree with that. I went into this being like, oh, I cannot wait to have fun. Mm -hmm. And this was not fun. This felt like homework a little bit. My, but like, my brain had to work extra hard, especially because the subtitles were not like timed yeah, really yeah. well. And so I was like reading as fast as I could. But just to finish that point before anyone jumps down my throat, it felt like homework for a like university class yeah. that I'm really glad I'm in. Does that make sense? Sure. Like, okay. Like it, it th that was deep and a lot. And yet at the same time, like a visually unreal. Yeah. Like the, the art is phenomenal. Really cool. The, the deeper questions that it gets into about what is existence. Fantastic. The, uh, some of the action, th really bad cool. choices. Some of it. Great. Um, the really only one bad choice at the end there when she ripped her whole body apart to I to I don't know. Yeah, I didn't really get that one. Um, but yeah. Uh, even though the visual of it is still fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like so much cool shit going on, but ultimately like it was more about the like conversation at the end than any of the action or anything. Yeah. And that just wasn't what I thought we were getting into, considering what I vaguely remember from being very high watching the live action movie. Yeah. It was also a lot of telling. Um, yes. Like, this movie mm -hmm. just had a lot of work to do to let you know what life is like in this world. Yeah, there's a lot of um, exposition. Yeah, and so, like, you know, I don't really, like, blame the movie for that. It's not, like, my favorite kind of way to tell a story. So, it, I didn't love it, but uh, I liked what the movie had to say. I liked that it asked hard questions. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah... Like my brain just feels like it like got a really good workout in, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think that this is one of those this is one of those movies that there's there I think there's probably a tighter way to introduce it. Mm -hmm. Um and I, I think that like some of those long kind of just pan sequences. Very strange. I truly honestly did not understand the point of those. Like, Especially I was because like, uh -huh. th what, what I found interesting about them was that the, the world was not that sci-fi in them. Yeah. It looked very con like contemporary to the 90s even, yeah. right? Uh, and so it wasn't like they were panning through like, look at how different the world is. It was kind of looking how same the world is, mm -hmm. except for the people, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so much. It just didn't really seem to be like relevant enough for the amount of time that it took up. 
<laughs> yeah, the, the the one that went through the shopping mall, I was like, this this is beautiful, yeah, like, but okay. starting to get a little boring. Yeah, it was like uh, the shot with the mannequins at the end. I was like, I understand. Poignant. Yeah, yeah. But you could yeah, trim that, I think, a little bit. Yeah, but I almost wonder if they were like, oh, God, it's not quite movie like. Because it's short, right? Yeah. Like the, the actual film before credits is an hour and 18 minutes. Yeah. That's that's pretty short. And so yeah. I think that, that they were like, okay, just, I don't know, just animate rain. Just, yeah, beef it up a little bit. We don't have we don't have any more dialogue in the script, so just animate J- Japanese city. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of, I like, I'm tired now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I feel a little exhausted after watching that. Not because it's bad, but just because, like, I feel like I just read a textbook. Yeah. <laughs> on why we shouldn't do AI. <laughs> oh, yeah. 100%. And yet, just so gorgeous. And so many boobs. A lot of boobs. I was hoping we'd see a penis. You know what I mean? I was hoping we'd equal it, it out. No, it was the 90s. No, it was the 90s. I know. 90s. Just a lot of titty. Yeah. A lot of titty. Yeah. If you want to see more titty, you can like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. Mm -hmm. The algorithm goddess of this episode is... Major. If you could have a robot body. Uh Uh-huh. And like go invisible and do cool shit. Uh Uh-huh. But you have a robot body and no vagina. Mm. Would you do it? Mm. No. I like touching people. That's fair. You know? That's fair. I like the the flesh on flesh. (laughs) I would take that robot knee. Oh. I would take that robot knee. You don't want a vagina? No. Oh, robot. I thought you said, just robot, said a robot knee. knee. I thought you said robot me, and I was like, oh. No, I would take a robot knee. I have a bad knee. Yeah, I heard me. That was my I'm bad. Thirty-one years old, and I have a bad knee. Okay. I'm so sorry. Patrons, thank you for picking this. Um, I that hope that was a journey. I hope that watching us slowly feel our brains breaking was entertaining for you to watch. Because uh-huh. I just, really do feel like a lot of the reaction was us going. Yeah, gonna go uh, uh, wade through my existential crisis and hopefully come out the other side, you know what I mean? I wonder if this is one we should have done a dub for. Probably. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. It's always, it's so touchy with like 90s and early 2000s animes. Some of them apparently are Because the dubs are so bad. Yeah. The dubs are so bad in so many of them. Like someone was, I was watching a TikTok and someone was going through a bad dub and it was just, the English was just not even at all what the, the original writing was. Someone had just written a new script in English and they had dubbed... I wish I could remember what the anime was. Aww, um, but yeah, I was so heinous. Sad. It was just the time. Uh, people didn't care. Yeah. And now, now, like, if you have a bad dub now, it can kill your show. That's true. Yeah. Uh, all right. We're going to head out. This was very fun. Thank you, patrons. Uh, and thank you to you for watching. Hell yeah. We'll see you next time. Do something nerdy tonight. She said my thing. Bye. Bye. <laughs>